I'm Pete Zielinski with Additive Manufacturing Magazine, and I am here with Dr. Mark Morrison, who is Manager of Research and Tribology with Smith & Nephew. Uh, Mark, uh, Smith & Nephew is using 3D printing to make instruments that reduce the time and trauma of surgical procedures uh, many of us are very familiar with. Mm -hmm. What is the surgical procedure and describe the instrument? Mm -hmm. So we have these patient-specific instruments for total knee arthroplasty or knee replacement. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we take imaging from the patient before surgery. We construct a model of their bone. Mm -hmm. Then we create a, a, a patient-specific additive manufactured cutting block or instrument essentially uh, that we print and ship to the hospital for the surgery. And the surgeon uses that. It fits uh, like a glove basically mm -hmm. on the patient's bone and helps a surgeon uh, precisely place his cuts. Custom fit to the patient, can you describe that process? Mm -hmm. How is the patient measured and how does that result mm -hmm. in a customized tool? Right, at Smith & Nephew we use MRI imaging uh, of that patient and so MRI takes uh, high resolution images of, of anatomy in slices. Mm -hmm. So we segment those slices to segment bone and everything else we take those slices of bone and create a, a 3D model of that patient's bone. And then we can do many iterations of planning the surgery. And then we use that model and that surgical plan to design uh, these that patient-specific uh, device, or I'm sorry, patient-specific instrument. You use the word instrument. Uh, our audience manufacturers would think of it as tooling. You're creating tooling that is geometrically customized to the patient. And I wonder if you could talk to me about that from the patient's perspective. Mm -hmm. Why is it so valuable to have patient-matched mm -hmm. instrumentation? The placement of that implant in the body relative to the patient's anatomy is very important to the performance of that joint. So with a patient-specific instrument, we can better control that. We can help the surgeon uh, plan, number one, and two, uh, better implant it in the right place and hopefully provide better longevity of that implant for that patient. What is the material the instrument's made out of and what machine do you produce it on? We're using an EOS uh, 3D printer mm -hmm. or additive manufacturing system and we're printing those devices out of nylon. All right, so we've been talking about tooling for surgery, uh, customized instruments. Smith & Nephew uses additive also to make implants. Can you Correct. talk about that? Yeah, so at the beginning of 2016, we launched our first additive manufactured implant. Uh, it's a, an acetabular shell for a hip replacement. Mm -hmm. And uh, additive, what that's allowed us to do in that space is to create our own proprietary porous structure. Additive provides the opportunity to custom design what that surface feels like and looks like and how it uh, grabs onto the bone and holds that device in place. 